Hello there everyone and welcome back to Resonant Rise. My name is Gord and I am here alone today because it's stinking hot here and my wife does not feel like sitting at her computer. So Kate is having the night off, which is fine because I'm going to do something technical. Um, which I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys like to see. Technical builds, adventuring, whatever. We're going to do a diversity, obviously. But hey, I always like to hear what you guys enjoy. So, as I don't believe got mentioned in the last episode, this is running too slow for these things. These things just drain the life right out of the... Uh, um, right out of things here. So, this tree farm, while effective, um, needs some more work. And as you can see, I have already started the preparations. Oh, there it goes. But not fast enough. So it's certainly not producing enough saplings to matter. So we're going to build another system here from Mine Factory Reloaded. It's going to involve sewers, a composter, and fertilizer. And oh, and three of these upgrades. Perfect. This is what happens when I prepare it. Now this is a this is a you know boxed up solution. It's not you know not not as exciting necessarily, but it's just part of a system. And oh, I almost forgot we're gonna do something really neat with this one. Because as you can see, the sewers are going there and there so that they're exposed to the animals. And we need to hook up power and fluid ducts. Now, the ordinary solution would be just to have pipes, you know, holes in the ground and pipes sticking up and covers and all that jazz. But when I was doing research on refined relocation, I discovered a completely unrelated feature to the chests that is equally amazing. And it's called a block extender which we will grab. They're not too expensive. A bit of iron, some glass, an ender pearl, and some obsidian, which, you know, I have all of those in droves. Oh, by the way, check this out. Look at that essence. I accidentally left the server running last night. I really don't do that on, on purpose. I left the computer rendering video. And we had potatoes. This has a void upgrade now. We had potatoes. This box filled to the brim with potatoes. And this box almost overflowing with potatoes. The really annoying thing is none of these are cooked. So I'm gonna actually have to set the potatoes to get sent to a cooking system by default. Anyways, the block extender is a really cool thing and something I expect I'll be making good use of from refined relocation in the future. Basic idea, it, oh boy, that's full already. It attaches there the obsidian part touching the system. Apparently, apparently the sewer does not need um, power. Who knew? I would suck if I went to all that trouble for nothing, but um, if these required power, which it appears it's a passive system, well, hey, I'll take it. Let's just upgrade it. So it covers, the upgrade will allow it to cover the entire uh, space here. We'll get a few more sheep in the system. Um, but if if it was a system that needed power, I could attach the power cables to this and the power cables would... Basically, you could attach the all the power and piping and everything here and leave it all nice and clean on the surface. So you can expect I'll be playing around with that more in the future. But, since apparently all is well with the world, all we have to do then is create a tank of doom here. A poop can, as it were. We'll just create a funny shape there and attach it to our composter, which will go right here. No, we probably won't be able to pull things from the uh, straight from the tank, so we will need a fluid duct. It's like I planned this and brought all the things we'll need with us. Okay. 
So there's our input, there's our output. Oops. What happened? Internal server error. Just a second. That was weird. All right. Anyways, um, we need to be able to get under here, which is why we are going to run the tube from the top, and hopefully it will work the way I think it does. Oh, right, this was laid for the express purpose of... Come on, can do this. Fluid in the bottom. There we go. Okay, and then power from mechanism. There we are. So this thing should have now got should now have power. And in a moment, it will have Oops. Wrong right click. We want to do that. And that. And now we brought pneumatic servos which we will set to ignore redstone. Here it comes. And a pneumatic servo, which we will also set to ignore redstone. And now we set that one to output and that pneumatic servo to ignore as well. And the composter has begun. And now, we set one last pneumatic servo to ignored. And now, if all is going according to plan, there should be materials flowing up. Now, what we need to do is grab a chest. I forgot to get a chest. Which will act as a buffer for this right here. We'll just put it right here in the hall. All right box. We need a box. You know what? This system's not even running right now, so we can steal this box. I have lots of boxes elsewhere, but since the system isn't need this right now, I may as well put this in. Stuff is going... Oh, another internal server error. What the heck is going on tonight? Something I'm doing it doesn't like. And it's happened twice now while interfacing with the item ducts. So... Whoa, food for thought, I guess. And we'll turn that on in a second. Oh, no wonder it won't open. Now we can look in here. What we are looking for is whether or not... Now, is this one of those ones that places facing... It appears it's placed facing the direction it should be facing. All we need now is... Yep, yeah, looking good. Oh, and the upgrade in place. So now it will fertilize this entire place. Now, we just need to see if anything is actually arriving. Arriving, And I hope this won't require impulse item ducts. Question is, how long does this take to work? And what is required to make it work? Heck, the other question being, is it even working? It doesn't say it's doing any work, which concerns me. So I will take one minute here and check to see if anything's happening or if I need to do... It is idle, so we need to somehow turn this thing on. Let's see, there must be some way of configuring this thing to actually turn. Oh, hold on. Is I wonder if it can't output from that side. Let's try output from the bottom. Come on. Ah, there we go. Now it's going. Now we can put the uh, fluid in, which we'll do from this side. There we are. Now it should be producing something. 
on a regular basis, which is good. Lots of energy, so energy supply is solid. Lots of sewage. It will be interesting to see if this is a solid uh, overproduction or underproduction. But I think it's safe to say that this is working okay. Probably don't need this many tanks here, to be honest. I'll probably take some of those for another project at a later date. Now it's time to go check out the fertilizer production and see what we're getting at the other end here. Nothing as of yet, but I will give it a moment before I panic. Because it's a long haul. So, okay, so these probably were not necessary, which means I'm going to retrieve them for a separate project. Because I would much rather have these for my own purposes and for, you know, useful purposes. I wonder if it's just going to... It probably won't drain without something here. Alright. This has officially gotten annoying. So we'll go under. Silly thing. Anyways, if this required power, it would be a much more useful device. Get that. I am pleased in some ways that the sewer is a passive system. Because it means the, uh... Hmm. Okay. It's nice, because it means I'm not using humongous amounts of power to do this job. Now, I'm probably going to need the rest of the composters for this to work uh, efficiently. The 4 to 1 ratio would not surprise me. Hey, look! Let's get this thing running and let's see what happens. So now this thing should be receiving fertilizer. It says here in fine print. Apparently not. Ugh! Not a happy camper today. How interesting. Not a happy camper. Interest. So, I will have to be careful. That was intended to be a... Okay, let's see what we got here. Nothing. Okay. Get you. And you. You working now? Yes, you are. Come on. Drop it in. There we go. So the fertilizer should now be applying to these trees. It means we should see a rapid acceleration in productivity here. Although, I must admit, a little bit of concern. You know what we need? I see that a lot. I see saplings just sitting in here. So we need some assistance. And I know exactly what we need to assist us. Is it called a vacuum? How do you spell vacuum? No, um, hopper. Is it kind of hopper? I've seen these. I've seen somebody using these. Apparently, something wasn't working. Hopper, obsidian, and an ender pearl. Okay, I can do that. Might even have a hopper kicking around. No, I used those all downstairs, didn't I? Five of those. No chests, how crazy. Okay. Whoa. There's that weird walking bug again. Okay. Okay, that's weird. My keyboard has a mind of its own right now. Two of those. Yeah, it's like I've been crafting stuff here. That's why there's so much stuff out right now. So vanilla hopper is this, that, that, and that. And then one obsidian, 
and an ender pearl. You know, it's funny, I've been using these for everything except for their primary purpose. Okay, and that in there, and a vacuum hopper. Vacuum hopper straight to some item ducts, which are going to require another uh, pneumatic servo. Extraordinarily cheap device, the pneumatic servo. It's great. Two of those, two of those, and one of those. No, no, no. There we go. All right, let's try this on for size. I don't know if it's just the, uh, just seems to sometimes fail to pick a few things up. So what we need is, um, a secondary, perfect. And stuff that falls in there will just go straight into our system. So that'll be good. Okay. Automatic withdrawals, ignored, and straight in we go. And hopefully, that has sufficient range to do the job. And then one way to find out, though. Cool. Not quite, but it'll get 90% of this place. No, not quite 90%. Okay. That's not as much as I was hoping for. Uh, and we need to set the bottom to be... There we go. I wonder if there's any way to enhance the uh, power level of this thing. Is this... I have no idea how to tell if this fertilizer thing is working on this fort farm. But it almost looks like we need a second one. So, oh, got some in here too. Well, that'll at least get us yield us a few more leaves from this system. So, I guess I could just build a second one on the other side of this thing, couldn't I? Like, put one right beside this thing here. Oh yeah, this thing right here is the, uh, this is getting rid of the um, sludge that comes out of this thing. I figured it wasn't really, really necessary, so. Well, let's go have a look at our farm and see if that's doing any better. My instinct at this point is we might just need to put that farm outside and make it much, much larger, though. Okay. So, what are we doing? We're working. It's working. I think they're coming in, they're starting to come in a little faster. Getting a crap ton of charcoal here though. I should really send that onwards in larger quantities than I am right now. I suppose I could just use a normal chest. Or there was a there was a downgrade for the bat Java barrels, wasn't there? Um, what was it? There was a wasn't there a minus one? Redstone B space. What's that? I don't know what a B space barrel is. Hmm. Creative. Ah, uh, yeah. No, not no. Okay, I must be misremembering. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It's it's coming faster, I think. I mean, I came down here earlier and I didn't see any of this these on the go. So as if we didn't have enough potatoes already. It's a start. I think it's a step in the right direction and that's the important thing. Cuz the import cuz we have a full row of glowstone a full row of dyes, a full row of coal, and essence is coming in, essence crops coming out of ears, and they'll slowly get replaced with more useful stuff later. These potatoes also, they're just kind of taking up space right now. I really should look and see if there's any other, you know what, let's go do that right now. You know what we should plant for future? 
everything except let's try some of these witchery crops on for size except for these mandrakes put some belladonna and some snowbells down there no mandrakes and water artichokes grow on the water so they might not work out so well I guess I could look into it yeah now nah, we'll deal with that later let's uh hmm just one second here hello just a little finale to the last episode we run into a minor problem uh, it would appear that the uh, system isn't taking all of the items like all the saplings so there's a lot of saplings going to waste which means it's time oh by the way logs got out of hand really fast um, I need a creative solution and I think I've got one I've been thinking about it that that a hopper that vacuum hopper is good but it's not quite doing the job by itself and I can't really cover the whole thing with vacuum hoppers just because of the uh, scale of the place I always use extra torches so we're going to I uh, have a little fun here. Oops, that's way more than I needed, and I needed more of these, not those. See if that's enough. We need a few of these, so we need that, that, arg. Come on. There we go. That, that, and that. 12 fans. Okay. So that's a start. So what we're going to do, here's the plan, such as it is. Welcome to chaos. Let me just turn the volume down on this thing. Cause that's getting a little crazy. Oop, all right, we'll have to fix that later. Okay, we'll throw fans here, 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 here. Doom. Except we're also going to need torches for these, so we'll have to figure out how to do the ouch. I'm going to get suffocated by these. Alright, hopefully these will blow the items once I actually get them turned on. Come on, let me out of here. The only downside to not having the morph mod, which I have seen other people using to great effect. Alright. So the only downside is this will blow us around too, but hopefully that isn't an issue. Excellent. Okay. Next up, we need one in this corner here. Just one. Torch under? Will torches work underneath? I hope I can place this thing on top of a torch. It might have to be placed on a solid block, though. Come on. No. Alright. No, I suspected as much. Okay. So we go solid surface. Fan right there. And a torch, hopefully not affecting the, uh... there we go. Oh, it does. Oh, man. Okay. It affects the power line. So, let's see. Can we put one directly under it? Will it be powered by indirect power? That's a good question. Yes. Yes, it will. Okay, good. Now we take... My uh, goofy little, this little thing right here, and we're going to put it in this corner right here instead of where it is right now. Here we are. Here's the uh, item ducts that are controlling this thing. Come on. Apparently, either I'm having trouble or... Come on, or the fans are affecting me down here. 
Okay. Get rid of that and that. Yes, I'm getting a little bit. My inventory is messy. Okay, so then we throw the one more item duct. Come on, stop helping. There we go. And then a vacuum hopper so I can't fit in here anymore. Come on, back up. All right, well, I guess that works. Takes care of that. We set the bottom. I think that's, nope, that's the side. Is that the bottom? Yes, yes it is. And we set... This thing to output. Just get out of my way. Come on. We go below the hopper. I guess we're going to have to... There we go. The thing outputting? No. It's going to need a... There they are. One of these. Come on. Yes, I know. I want to program set a pneumatic servo. Come on. There is it. There it is. Ignored. Grab that. Or not. Or get out of my way, tree. All right, and that should make a big difference for the uh, random miscellaneous crap that is supposed to be coming out of this thing. Oh, for heaven's sakes. And now we need to seal this up because otherwise we're gonna lose everything down this hole here. So what's going in the top then? Oh, power, okay, well, that's okay. We'll go one here and one there and I think we're gonna have to put a ladder in there or we could get in real trouble trying to get out of that space. All right, what is... Oh, the fans aren't square, are they? Right, of course. They have that whole 16 angles of orientation thing going on. But regardless, that should help take care of my... Um... I guess I don't need those then. The issues that I've been having with... Uh... Uh, item, with losing items. Because there were a lot of items sitting in that box there. Well, not in the box, but in the in the room here. Okay, let's close this one up. And let's see what we can do here. We definitely need some more materials to completely close this space up properly. There we go. light in the corner. There we are. Let's see. Which one needs attention here? This one. Eh, whatever. A bit of goofiness is not the end of the world. I just hope we can keep that under control down here. So let's have a look. Put that thing back to round robin. Ooh, okay, it affects the underground here. Yeah. There are extra saplings coming into the system, and there will be more now that we have the... Uh... And hopefully with that at round robin, and here's what we'll do. All the stuff that is not going through the uh, primary system will be piped priority to, the, uh, to this thing here. So now if all is going according to plan, which it should be, should be able to see items flying across the floor here. Wow. 
Where did that thing go? We shouldn't ever see another sapling sitting on the floor in this room again. Okay, sorry, that was just a quick addendum. Uh, yeah, I think things will be working much better now. Let's just go have a look at the uh, uh, farming system here. Now we're talking, look at that. A semi-steady supply. It's still sort of barely keeping up. That's possibly because I only have one of these in the works. And there's also a, still a shortage of saplings. Boy, wasn't that... That was bloody optimistic, wasn't it? Uh, using the... Uh, yeah, right. Well, well, you know what? Maybe it'll get ahead, maybe it won't. It might need to be upgraded to a bigger farm, in which case we'll upgrade it to a bigger farm. And you know what? That's okay. The important thing is, things are really starting to hop, hop, hop now. And I like that. It's a good sign. All right, thank you all very much for watching. And now I will definitely see you in the next episode. Bye for now.